The biggest reaction for me was me singing I Have Nothing, Whitney Houston. People can react weirdly to covers, and I don't do covers very often. You know, you can never better the best, you can only just interpret what you feel you want to do. Ten years ago this year, it's the anniversary of the, of the day that I auditioned for the girl band that got me my record deal, that got me the record deal where I am now. I Have Nothing was my audition song, and Whitney Houston, she's my musical inspiration. All the songs that she gave so much confidence with being loud and having a big mouth and all the things that I could relate to. It felt like it was okay to be like that and the way she danced and she was a bit uncomfortable and I'm not a dancer but I'll give it my best and she was, wasn't perfect in performances but her, she just drew you in and I was like that's how I want to be. The night she died I was asked to perform at the Clive Davis party and in the sound check she came in. Her daughter came up to me and said my mum's at the back she wants to meet you later. So for the whole day I thought I'm going to meet my idol and I remember getting ready and I remember finding out that she'd passed away. So I went from the night that I was supposed to be performing and to meet her, I ended up almost singing at her funeral. It's weird because even though I've never met her, there's been so many moments in my life that without her realising it, she's helped me put myself where I am today. So I wanted to celebrate that with the audience and then the silence is deafening. I was going to cut it at the, from the set because it's not a single and I, it's nothing to do with anything that I'm doing and I was just like, but I can't, it just feels wrong, it feels like a moment. <laughs> 